Hi guys, my name is Valerie from Valerie Visuals and I'm an illustrator, graphic and motion designer. And today we are going to create a cute character like this with the help of a symmetry guide. Before we starting to create our character, we need to learn a little bit about the symmetric guide. How to activate and use it. Go to settings, canvas, activate the drawing guide and then go to edit drawing guide. Choose symmetry, adjust the thickness and the opacity of the guide and make sure that assisting drawing is activated. Now if we take the brush and start to paint we can see that our stroke is duplicated automatically. For turning off the guide you need to go to layers then press on the layer and uncheck the drawing assist. Now if we draw something is not duplicating our stroke. And for bring back the guide, press on the layer again and activate the drawing assist. This is the shortcut of this process. It's more easier to control the guide from the layer section. Ok, so now let's start with the tutorial. First, turn on the symmetry guide. Make sure that assist drawing is checked. Next we need a grid for building the character. Open the new layer, go to brushes, textured and choose the grid brush. Then start to paint the grid. Now we need to align the grid to our drawing guide. Go to transforms. Choose freedom and adjust the grid exactly to the drawing guide like this. Now let's turn down the opacity and rename this layer to grid. And this layer is the sketch of the character, so let's name it sketch. Now let's create our character. Choose the technical pen and for the beginning we need to draw a line that's going to help us later to build our character. So create a line like this. It's not need to be very perfect lines. Now let's decide that the eyes is going to be here in these cubes. So draw a circle and it's automatically going to draw in the other side. Now let's draw the nose, then the mouth and here is going to be the chin. Then draw the eyebrows. And now let's make a cube like that. It's going to be the head. Now draw the ears and the neck is going to be around here. Now draw the shoulders and hands like this. We can erase these lines. Now for the face we can draw little dots right here and connect them with an arc. Same in this area in the top of the head. For the hair you can create your own style, I prefer a hair like this. And now let's continue to the next step. Let's bring the opacity down and create a new layer for the character body parts. Let's begin first with the head. Basically what we are going to do is to trace our sketch.
Now drop any color that you want. We can change the color anyway later when we want. Now let's create another layer for the eyes. Make sure the drawing assist is checked. And now I'm changing the background color real quick for you can see better what I'm doing. Now let's keep to create other parts of our character. Every time you create a new layer for a new part, make sure that the drawing assist is checked. Don't worry about the colors for now, we're going to change them later anyway. Ok cool, now let's remain only the body layer and start to paint this part. First create a layer above the body layer, then click on the new layer and active the clipping mask. If you want to learn more about clipping mask, I highly recommend to you guys to see my previous tutorial how I created this cool text design in Procreate. Now let's choose a color for the body and I think it's going to be a dark bluish kind of cape choose the noise brush, adjust the size, make sure the drawing assist is checked and start to paint. Now for the highlights, choose a brighter color and, de and decrease the size of the brush and start to create a little highlights on these areas. You can even choose a brighter, more brighter color. Now merge these two layers. Next we're going to paint the face. So first let's change the color of the face. Go to adjustments, choose recolor and then bring this little target icon to the area that you want to change the color. So we bring this to the face. And now you can choose any color that you want. I'm going to choose the simple gray. And now let's add a shading and highlights to the face by creating a new layer. Make sure you activated the clipping mask and the drawing assist. Then I choose a darker color and with the noise brush I add a little shading on these areas. Then I choose a brighter color and adding a little highlights to these areas. Then let's merge the two layers and continue with the process for all other parts of our character.
go to face layer for making the highlights and the shadings for the mouth. I am adding a little shadings around the eyes because I know it's going to be a kind of cute vampire. I want to add a shading for the teeth. Make sure to activate the alpha lock on this layer. I don't like this, I try another time. I think this shading is better. Now by moving the body closer to the face, we can see that it's create characteristics for the character. Now I want to add a little highlights around these areas by activating the alpha lock. And for the final touch, let's create a cool background by choosing a new layer. For this layer, we can turn off the drawing guide. Then go to brush library, go to luminance and choose the nebula brush. Increase the size and start to paint around. Then go to adjustments, choose noise and increase the noise a little bit like that and now we can add a little glow effect behind the character with the noise brush like that And that's it guys, with the help of the simple grids and guides, you can now easily create a cute characters like that by yourself. And this is a little animation that I made with this character design. If you find this tutorial helpful, you can subscribe to my channel for more cool tutorials in the future. See you next time guys!